the game. It's a red stick. Hey, what's up you guys? Pretty excited about today's video. This is something I've wanted to do for a long time. Just wanna jump right into this. As you can see, I have the new Fish Lab Tackle backpack. You can go check out the specs, the prices, etc., on their website. I'll have a link down below in the description. They've actually got more than one model, more than one version of the backpack. Uh, they have a bigger one, I believe, that comes with rollers, which is pretty sweet. But if you know anything about me, I'm doing a lot of shore fishing, moving, in the water, waders, you name it. So I need something a little bit lighter, a little bit more mobile. And what I wanna to do today is show you how much I can fit in this backpack. So far, you guys, in all my years of fishing from shore, this is by far the best backpack I've ever owned. It has completely blown me away. I have been amazed as to how much I can fit inside this thing. That's why I wanna show you. And I'm just gonna open this thing up, one compartment, one zipper, one section at a time and start pulling stuff out. This has, as of late, become my bass slash walleye backpack. Uh, I'm gonna do another video coming up here shortly pertaining to shore fishing for muskies, my setup, my gear, what I do, what I bring, what you need to do the same thing. I'm gonna be showing you guys another backpack that I love. It's a little bit bigger than this one, but you guys, this Fish Lab Tackle backpack is perfect if you're a bass guy, if you're a walleye guy, even if you're going into a boat with a buddy, I'm telling you right now, save your buddy some stress and frustration. Don't make a mess in his boat. Get one of these backpacks. You'll be impressed with how much you can fit in it. You can stay organized and have a good time fishing. So first thing I wanna say is uh, a few features on the outside before I start opening up and showing you guys what I can put inside of it is that it does have the belly strap here you can put this around your waist. You can adjust it obviously for size, but it comes right here and you can clip it in. It gives you additional support. That way it's taking off pressure and stress from your, your shoulders and your upper back. I'm telling you, if you've done a lot of shore fishing like I have and you're carrying a lot of gear and you're walking all over the place, that makes a difference. So it's designed very well. It helps uh, distribute the weight more evenly. I don't always use this strap. Honestly, I rarely use it because I'm constantly moving, picking up, putting down, uh, but I have used it, especially when I know I'm walking long distances. And so when you, when you clip this around your waist, it does help distribute the weight. It does take that pressure off your back and your upper shoulders, which is gonna help with fatigue and allow you to fish longer without any issues. Again, I wanna emphasize, especially if you're shore fishing and you're taking all of your gear and your tackle with you wherever you go. Uh, the second thing I wanna say is, Hopefully I can show this to you a little bit better once I take everything out of here. I might forget, I hope not, I'll try my best. Uh, but this backpack actually has a feature on the inside where it has like a flap, almost like a board on the inside. And you can put that up and zip it into place and it basically sections off this backpack into an upper level and a lower level. Now I am currently not using that. I just found over time as I use this backpack more, as I fished with it, that I was able to fit more stuff in by leaving it completely open, putting that flap down so it kind of rests against the back. And I just jam as much in here as I can. Uh, but if you're more organized than I am, which I'm sure a lot of you guys are, you can get pretty creative. You can section this off. You can have a lower level, an upper level, probably fit just as much gear, if not more. And the last thing I'm gonna say before I open it up, unzip this thing and start looking at it, show you guys what I fit in it, is that I still have some room in this, a little bit, not a ton. What I'm about to show you is a lot, but if I really wanted to, I could probably fit a few more items in here, maybe even one more smaller tackle box. I didn't wanna to get too crazy and exaggerate. What I'm gonna show you guys is literally what I have been taking with me as of late. I mean, on a regular basis, if I'm going for bass and or walleye, these tackle boxes, the gear and equipment I have in here, the soft plastics, you name it, I have been taking this with me all spring, okay? We're now getting into early summer. What I put in here might change a little bit as I start fishing deeper, uh, but this is legitimately my setup for bass and walleye, okay? So again, I could probably fit a little bit more, but I wanted to be a little bit realistic. I wanted to just show you guys what I've been doing and, and just give you an honest review of what you can fit in this backpack and how much I personally have put into it. Let's get into this. So we're just gonna start on the outside and kind of work our way to the main center compartment of this backpack. Uh, nothing too exciting. I mean, I don't know if I'm gonna show you literally the lures and, and tackle I have in here. I'm gonna try to make this as quick as possible. But let's start on the outside. We'll start with these side pockets. First, there's this lower side pocket with the netting. 
that Velcros in, in here right now, and there's additional space. I've got my fluorocarbon leaders, soft steel tackle, my 10 pound, my 15 pound. That's just in case I break off or my leaders get frayed a little bit, especially if I'm fishing for walleye. They got those teeth, you don't wanna take any chances. So right now I'm keeping my, do I have something else in there? No, I don't. I've got my fluorocarbon leaders in there, and as I mentioned, you saw, there's actually room for a little bit more in here. This top side, compartment zips like this it kind of looks like the size of a, of a big cell phone uh, but I've got in here wire leader but this small tackle box not going to show you what's in it this is my ultra light gear if I'm going for crappie pan fish or even if I'm trying to finesse some really finicky bass and walleye I've also got my scale in here I've only used that maybe once or twice on some big walleye I got this year and then I've also got a girth tape just in case I want to do a quick girth on some heavier fatter fish. I'm going to go to the front here. I'm going to turn this a little bit. So this lower front compartment kind of fell open there for you guys. As you can see, I've got a ton of soft plastics in here. Okay. I've got uh, some beef fishing moxies, other baits from them, ring, their uh, rib worms, whatever you call them. What are these even called? Let's see here. Yeah, they're ring worms. I've got some Z-Man stuff. I mean, again, I don't want to waste too much time showing you all my secrets here, you guys. I got some twister tails. Um, I got another measuring tape in here as a backup. There's a few areas here, you guys. You can't really see these that well. Uh, you're just gonna have to trust me on this. But these are individual straps right here that are uh, fastened to the back of the bag here. And you could put pliers, scissors, you name it. You can probably see a little bit. My measuring tape is in this one. But there's six of these here in the front. And then, I don't know how well you're able to see this, but there's additional netting right here in the bottom. I'll try to show you guys the best I can. There's another little bag in here with netting. And I've got sinkers and weights, things of that nature in there, okay? So I'm actually going to close this up because this is a little bit hard to do if it's falling over the place. We're going to move up to the top compartment here on the front and then I'll get to the other side okay <laughs> here's where it's gonna start getting messy my goodness I gotta put this all back this is gonna be fun so I got some crayfish some creature baits I think I got different sizes look at that I got a bunch of these power baits in here I got some pliers right there got some gloves And then this is really cool. I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to bend this down. So there's two more smaller compartments in here that Velcro shut. You can put whatever you want in here. Obviously, sky's the limit. But in this one, I've got my scissors, which I use all the time when I'm tying and retying. And then in this one, I've got uh, stringers, okay? i got multiple stringers in this one. And that's for when I'm walleye fishing or pan fishing and I'm looking to bring something home to make some dinner for my family. That's when I use those stringers. And then I'm gonna kind of turn this a little bit. There's this huge compartment in the front of this. So this is all just in this top section, you guys, that's it. I got room back here, a pocket. I got room in the front, I got these two. And then right here in the very front, this flap that comes down. Let's see if I can get that down a little more, it's as long as it goes. There's this uh, white netting and it's just another bag in here. And I mean, you guys, look at this. I got hooks, I got football jigs, different size hooks. I've got swivels, you name it, okay? So that was all just in this little top section. I'm gonna close it up a little bit, go to the other side. You can see here, I currently use this other side bottom pocket. Always have some water in there or a drink. I gotta stay hydrated, especially when you're working and you're covering ground and going all over the place to find fish from shore. And then this other side, it's got matching pockets on the top here. This other side, I've got more plastics, you guys. I'm just gonna pull these out. I mean, look at that, you guys. That was all in there. And I think I have, yep, I got something else in there, but I mean, more, I got worms. I've got some alternative fishing lures, baits from Recycled Plastic. Those guys are making some cool stuff. But I mean, all of that, I got more plastics in there. Just gonna throw those over there. And then I've got another set of pliers. These are my backup. They're a little bit smaller, obviously smaller fish too. Uh, but I got another set of pliers in there. And then we're gonna get into the main section here, the biggest center compartment of this backpack. Oops, yeah, there we go. I'm gonna show you guys, I gotta make room. This is getting ridiculous. This is not working out as planned. It's messier than I thought. <laughs> so let's see how many 
tackle boxes I got in here. There's number one. These fish slab tackle tackle boxes are awesome, you guys. They look great, but they're super durable and they really latch shut well. Uh, that's that's a bunch of, I got, man, walleye baits mostly, lipless crankbaits, hair jigs. Here's tackle box one. Here's number two. I got some spoons, some like jigging wraps. These are actually the new fish slab tackle uh, jigging minnows. These things are awesome. Variety of baits in there, deeper water usually jigging up and down vertically. That's tackle box number two. Tackle box number three is a variety. Soft plastics, jigs, you name it. You can see that real quick. This is getting out of hand. Tackle box number four. What do we got here? Ooh, I got some top water. Yeah, got some frogs, got some spooks, got some alternative fishing lures in here, and some more fish slab tackle, shallow running baits. Tackle box number five. Almost done, I promise. <laughs> I got some swim baits. I got some gliders, some fish slab tackles, swim baits and glide baits, some custom ones that I ordered recently. That's in there. This is definitely a bass box. And I think this is the last one, but I'm not done on the inside. I'm gonna have to move some of this stuff. But I got another tackle box, a bigger one that's got my bucktails and spinner baits and a couple of bass jigs, big bass jigs there on the bottom. Ugh, this is so obnoxious, you guys. So six tackle boxes I fit inside the main compartment. And on top of that, if you can see this, there's a little, I'm gonna see if I can, I'm gonna try to move this over a little bit. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is just crazy. If you guys can see that though, there's one more compartment, one more bag netted area here in the back on the inside. And you guys, I've got a whole bunch more soft plastics, okay? So I'm gonna leave that in there. Save myself a little bit of work putting this back in here. And then, I don't know if I can do this. Yeah. So it's Velcro and a zipper, you guys. So here's that flap I was trying to show you. So I had it down, but you bring it up and you can see it zips around the edge. And it actually just goes like that. You can kind of see how it'll lay. So then you've got an upper section sectioned off, upper level, lower level, if you zip that shut, and then it opens from down here. So let's say you only want to get into the bottom. That's all you need to do. Look at that. It opens up. Let's say you got three, two or three tackle boxes down here. You know what's in there. That's all you need at the moment. You can open the bottom, leave the top closed. It's pretty versatile, pretty creative. Like I said, you guys, this backpack is awesome. I mean, I'm obsessed with it. I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. I'm gonna be ordering another one of these. I mean, I've only had it for, you know, two or three months now and I've used it pretty much every time I've gone out, bass or walleye fishing, I've taken this thing with me. I'm very impressed. I have dropped it. I have fallen on it. Obviously, I've carried it a ton. I've, I've put this thing to work. It has not disappointed. This backpack, in my mind, so far, is the best backpack I've ever used fishing, specifically from shore, and I've been doing that for over a decade. So go check them out, you guys. Like I said, there's different models, different versions. This is my favorite just for the type of fishing I do, uh, but you will not be disappointed. I'm telling you right now, if you get one of these, you use it two or three times, it's gonna become your favorite backpack just like it is mine. So thanks for watching, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this review. Stay tuned for more, and like always, just keep casting.